that's possible for you. It's an honor and it's a privilege to be a part of your life at this important and very special time. If you have appeared for the purpose of marriage, would you signify that you intend to marry by joining your right hands? David, do you take the lady by whose side that you now stand, whose hand that you now hold, to be your lawful and to be your wedded wife? I do. And will you promise to love her, to honor her and cherish her for as long as you both shall live? Yes, I do. Jennifer, do you take the gentleman by whose side that you now stand, whose hand that you now hold, to be your lawful and to be your wedded husband. I do. And will you promise to love him, to honor him and cherish him for as long as you both shall live? I do. Now will both of you promise together today before God that as you share your lives with one another, that each of you would promise to treat the other appropriately in the way that a husband and wife should treat each other. And once more, would you both also again promise together that you would love, honor, cherish, and that you would adhere to each other until you are parted by death? I do. Those are rich promises. And out of all the earthly relationships you'll ever have in your lifetime, marriage is the richest too and the most special. And that says to me, you are blessed today. Very very blessed. Would you now place the ring on your bride's finger? Would you do the same for your groom at this time? Did you both put glue on the inside of those rings? Yeah. I hope when I say that to you that you both know what I'm really saying to you is I want this to last. Both of you know like I do though that in this day and age there's a lot of marriages out there that don't last. I know you know that's true. Yeah. Doesn't take much to figure out then that when people marry, they don't automatically do the right things. If they did the right things, no marriages would ever break up if people did the right things. But I really, oh, and by the way, did you notice that the license to marry didn't come in with instructions to help you figure out what the right things are? But I believe if you can identify what some of the right things to do are, by the time that you marry, then you can begin doing the right things starting on day number one and avoid doing some of the wrong things, perhaps, that might undermine or hurt your marriage. So I'd like to offer a couple suggestions of what I believe some of the right things are. We can give that back to him if you like. Oh, he got the box, he just threw it. Oh, okay. He wants out. Just a minute, just a minute. I'd like to suggest what I believe some of the right things are to do. And I hope these ideas will help both of you, and I hope they will bless you too. They're not my words, they come from the Bible. Tell me if you've heard this before. Jesus said, treat other people as you would want to be treated. You're both nodding good. I like to say it this way, treat your bride, treat
treat your groom every day like clockwork, very, very faithfully and very consistently the way you'd want to be treated yourself. For I believe if you both would allow that to be a guiding principle to help you in your marriage, you began to build a great, a very special, and a very wonderful marriage just by doing that simple thing every day. <laughs>